Hey guys, I said I would do this, so I'm going to do it just before the end of January. I realize this is a bit late, but this is my channel shout out video. I'm going to try and do one of these every month, and I'm going to just talk about channels that I enjoy. I'm going to start with three, but maybe I might move down to less because I didn't realize how many people I wasn't really subscribed to. So I'm trying to build my list. But either way, the first one we're doing is a game related one because there are a few video game related channels that I really enjoy and I appreciate, and I want to give them more credit and more views if I can because they deserve it. So in terms of how I do these shout outs, I'm gonna try and structure it, as I said, with three, with one that I know personally, one that I enjoy that's a little bit of a smaller one, finally one that already has quite a big following, but I figure that they are decent enough to deserve a shout out regardless. And starting off with one that's a personal one to myself, is Electronic Playground. Victor Lucas is the first man, aside from my father, who introduced me to video games. He has been covering video games for nearly three decades and continues to give great insight into the industry as well as be a genuine human being. Victor Lucas had a show called Electronic Playground, for those of us up here in Canada, some of you Americans might know, basically was the first big video game channel television show on actual physical television, on cable back in the 90s and he kept going for a long time up until his Rogers contract ended in the ugh, sometime in 2010s and he had to resort to going to YouTube and being online distribution and whatnot. I personally support him kind of in a Patreon sense. I, I'm one of the, the $5 a month people, but Victor is a great guy. He has really genuine insights into the industry. He also does movies and uh, kind of buried treasures, but a genuinely, he's just a cool geek and I like him and he also seems to have uh, Keanu Reeves' aging sort of uh, secret because the guy looks exactly the same as he did when he started the show back in the 90s. Either way, check him out. He's a really cool guy and he's got some great insight. Now going on to a smaller channel, this one actually has a little bit of a personal connection to me. Back in 2016, when I finally finished watching the Harry Potter movies, for the latter four anyways, I really got into wanting to replay the video games. Aside from Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets and the Philosopher's Stone remake, I didn't know anything else about the other ones because I just thought that Chamber of Secrets was the apex. So I found Chris Bond 21. This guy has reviewed every single Harry Potter game, mainstream anyways, and he's even done some of the spin-offs and some of the lesser tier ones. He even reviewed the Kinect one. He's got a really good in-depth looks at these games. He's got some pretty decent criticisms, even if some of his audio equipment is a little bit lacking in the beginning, but he probably was starting with Peanuts, and I appreciate the level of effort that he went into, especially with capturing all the footage for these old games and even figuring out how to show Game Boy Advance footage in here. I'm good for him for trying it, and I really appreciate the effort that he's done. So if you guys want to see someone do a retrospective of all the Harry Potter games, as well as some other ones, I would definitely check him out. And then finally, this guy here is probably, in my opinion, the best video game critic on YouTube. G-Man Lives is my favorite Australian of all time, I think. This Aussie knows his stuff inside and out, and he's probably one of the best critics of first-person shooters I've ever seen. When it comes to games, I find that I'm always in agreement with him. Whether I disagree w about the game or not with him, his points, his criticisms, and the things that he can find that are just the fine notes of these games, it's just fascinating. He's always entertaining, he's always on point, and he's just got this plethora of knowledge about first person shooters and video games in general. He was the first one to come out with a review about The Last of Us that I agreed with. Like, 100%. There were some people who were like, okay, I agree with some of your points, and I disagree with you on other points, but he was 100% Boom, exactly. It was kind of uh. But not only does he talk about mainstream games, but he also talks about the modding community. And then he talks about games that have special niche kind of uh, communities and whatnot. The guy has never steered me wrong ever in terms of video games. And I feel that he is probably one of the best critics I've ever seen. Thus ends my first channel shout out video of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Links to all three channels I mentioned are in the description below and I will have them at the end of the video as well. Please check these guys out. They all have a great insight about video games in their own different way. And I feel that they're all entertaining in their own way. So anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe and I'll see you in February with my next channel shout out video. Anyways, see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads.
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.